wanted to share something that had happened to me that is in the Bible, and I didn't know it at the time. So I was praying a prayer. Um, I was calling out to the Lord, and um, my son and I were in a very bad situation on December 31st, 2013. And I was asking the Lord permission, should I stay and, and try to figure this out, or is it okay to go? So it was when I was sitting in that room with Bradley at 18 months old in my arms um, that what after I prayed and I waited, um, the entire, I had never experienced this before, the entire room, the atmosphere shifted, it changed. And I went from being a wreck to like total peace. And that peace that came down that didn't come from me is in the Bible. It's in Philippians chapter four. And I'm going to read verses six through seven. I had no idea. I didn't know this verse. And when I read it later, I was like, oh, that's what it was. Okay, let me read it to you. Philippians 4, 6 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by petition and prayer, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Verse 7, And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. That happened to me that night. So that peace that I experienced in that room with Bradley was the Holy Spirit's presence. And um, even though I, I don't experience that all the time, I had to share that to bring you hope because sometimes we're in a really dark place and you know people don't even know what's going on. And God knows and God will bring you out of it. You just have to stay strong and not give up because my life looks completely different than it did you know, 10 years ago. And I'm so thankful for that. It's almost 2023, then that was a decade ago. And I'm so thankful for all he's brought me through and he continues to bring me through. So if you're feeling hopeless, I highly recommend Philippians chapter four. Um, it's a short read in the Holy Bible. And um, just remember, God has three parts. We have God on the throne, we have Jesus Christ, and we have the Holy Spirit who is the comforter. So if you ever notice a major atmospheric shift for peace and comfort, it's him.